hello guys this is Asif and in this YouTube video tutorial we are going to see how we can use Armin to perform the backups of database we are going to see how we can perform full database backup we are going to see how we can perform incremental database backup and how we can perform incremental cumulative backup and incremental differential backup we are also going to have a look on how we can perform a backup of a single table space that is instead of uh, taking the backup of the whole database we can only take the backup of one table space or two table space or three table space it's up to us and uh, another point to be noted here is that our database will remain online the backups which we are going to perform are going to be hot backups that means users will continue to work uh, users will continue to uh, have the access to the database users will continue to uh, update the database at the same time the backup will be performed so let's get started set oracle sid is equal to db select sql plus sstba select name from v dollar from v dollar database select name from v dollar table space exit our main target show all so this is the location where the backups are going to be kept the backup pieces which will be generated will be kept at this location so now we will go to this location and have a look if there is anything there just to see if there is anything there exit or so this directory is empty go into our main list backup summary nothing is there we will say backup database this backup database command is going to perform the full backup of all the data files as well as the control file so the backup of this database will be performed using this backup database command this is one of the simplest command to perform the backup we are going to use some other commands also which are little bit tricky as compared to this command So you can see the backup has been performed so if I say list backup summary you can see these backups have been performed and if I say list backup you can see these backups have been performed the backup files which were generated have been placed here here and as well so if I say list backup or if I say backup database plus archive log so now uh, this is also the similar command it is going to perform the backup of the database as well as archive log files so you can uh, issue a separate command to perform the backup of archive log or you can add the archive log keyword with the plus command in the same com uh, using the same command that is backup database so now it's going to perform the backup of database as well as the archive log files so you can see these backups are being generated
so list backup summary so you can see these backups have been generated two of them four of them are backups of data files two of them are the backups of uh, archive log files so now we are going to perform similar backup but this is kind of incremental so if I say backup incremental level 0 database so this backup this command is equal to backup database command there is no difference at all backup incremental level 0 database so the difference will come when we will perform the recovery uh, then you will be able to see the uh, there is minor difference between these two commands otherwise it's it's the same thing now if i say backup incremental level 0 level 0 means full backup and if i say increment backup incremental level 1 date is incremental backup suppose if i performed yesterday uh, yesterday was uh, uh, Thursday and I performed the level 0 backup date backup was full backup and if I perform the backup in, uh, if I want to perform incremental backup I will say backup incremental level 1 database so the whole database will not be backed up only the changes which have been made from yesterday till today those changes will be backed up so the backup size will be very small it will be uh, the back, uh, backup size will be only the changes which have been uh, occurring in the database since yesterday since the last zero backup so if I say backup incremental level 1 database it will perform the backup of the database but date backup is going to be very small it is going to take very little time as compared to full backup because the level 1 backup is the incremental backup and then we have also got the cumulative backup which I am going to discuss uh, later on so if I say backup incremental level 1 database so this backup level 1 is going to be small sized backup it is going to be a level 1 backup it is going to be the incremental backup So this backup has been performed and it is uh, as you can see that here it took only 25 seconds and here it took 1 minute 5 seconds and here it also took 1 minute 5 seconds. So the difference is that earlier when we issued backup incremental level 0 backup it performed full database backup and when we issued backup incremental level 1 backup it performed only the incremental backup so that is the difference the difference is about the time uh, time the backup uh, recovery manager takes the difference is about the size of the uh, files which uh, backup uh, is going to generate so have a look on the file size if I say details So here you can see that some files are very small and some files are comparatively large that means the incremental backups are very small size backup and the cumulative uh, the full backup is comparatively large size backup so this is how you can perform incremental backup and full backup now we are going to perform a backup of a single table space so I will say backup incremental level 
equal to 1 cumulative tiff table space users so now you can see the backup was performed only of users table space and it took only one second to be performed so this is how you can perform the backup of the full database uh, this is how you can perform the backup of archive log files archive log files like backup archive log all so you can see uh, this backup has also been performed backup so this is how uh, we can perform different kind of backups using the backup command uh, you, uh, you can use backup database command you can use backup database plus archive log command you can use backup incremental level 0 database plus archive log you can use backup incremental level 1 database plus archive log or you can use backup incremental level 1 cumulative table space name of the table space that is user and the backup will be performed so uh, this is how uh, we can use the backup command that's all for this video and we are going to continue from the next video